Hello. One second, please. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Not give me the link for my streams. Oh, that is. Okay. Cool. Hello, everyone. Um, hi, Invention Gaming. Hi, Bucky Pro Gamer. Nice to see you. Or, I guess I can't really see you. Hear from you. <laughs> hey, Megan. Sorry, my nose literally just got sniffly. Of course, right when I start the video. <laughs> I love this playlist. And it's royalty free. What more can you ask for? Um, Alright, so... Back to the Unreal Parkour system. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? On this wonderful... Wednesday morning. Or afternoon. Or evening, I don't know, depending on your time zone, I guess. So with this parkour system, we got this, we've been working on the vault for a while now. Looks pretty good. Um, obviously there's some stuff we want to change, like sometimes it clips through the wall. If you do it too early. And... The speed changes after, after you vault, but that's a problem for another day because I've been working on this far too long and it's kind of annoying. Hey, final attack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh man, you're up at 6.45. That is very early. <laughs> hey, Billy, what's up? Um, so we can kind of slide, we can sprint. So the thing I want to work on today is just fixing the wall running because it's glitched out. Doing all the other stuff, it like messed up somehow. And we can also kind of wall climb. Looks pretty good, I think. And we also want to do wall climbing for shorter walls later on. So like we can kind of vault over this in a way. And we have a Trello. So we've actually gotten a lot of stuff done in the stream, all of this, which is really good. Um, the current iteration, so this is using like sprints in software engineering. Like every week or two you work on something and then you switch over. But I'm not that strict, I just follow the format. So what I'm currently working on, what I'm going to work on next, and then what's to work on in the future, but hasn't been decided when. So that's just the backlog. And I try to keep things in order here. So this is like top priority. Which is to turn it into a state machine, because right now it's so messy. With the visual blueprints everywhere. Um, and then I color it. Oh, I did not know I could do that. Wow. Huh. So green is improvement, red is bug, and yellow, or I don't know, orange, is a feature. Also, this is free to use. Trello. So, pretty nice. Can I make... Hey, Anish, what's up? Can I make a Unity Photon to... Photon tutorial. Um, it's not on my list. If I were to do multiplayer, it'd be with the new ML API, if anything. Which, actually, we reached a goal on Patreon, which I'll make a series on what the patrons vote for. And one of the options is multiplayer for with ML API. So, 
if it gets chosen by the end of the week, then I'll be learning how to do that and then do a series on that. All right, I'm sorry, give me a second. Let me just go blow my nose one second, sorry. <laughs> Everything happens when I start streaming. So, yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking I was kind of tired of working on the vaulting. So I was thinking of fixing the wall running. Or, yeah, wall running today. And then after we fix the wall running, instead of making any more improvements... I was thinking of changing it into a state machine just so we can get that over with and then do improvements later on. Hi, Sher Shari. Sorry if I said that wrong. What do you need help with? Multiplayer is in the lead. Yes. It is tied very closely. I think it's only one away from the shader graph. Shader graph is second place. Shader graph series. It's funny because I know how to do none of those, so this is gonna be fun to learn. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's just see what's going on with the wall running. Um, it wall runs automatically, which is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, basically it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. I guess we'll find that out. <clears throat> Using C++? No, I think I'm gonna stick to blueprints right now. I think I'll make a state machine with blueprints. Just to see how I do it. And then maybe convert it to C++. <laughs> the tutorial is only for Patreon. No. The patrons will vote on the series, but it'll be public. But they get to actually vote on it, because the it was a patron goal that was reached. Which thank you by the way to all my patrons. Um. And, uh. Patron dedicated tier gets like three day early access to videos. And I just added a new tier called the loyal tier and that will tier will have some like exclusive tutorials just for that tier or above that tier also. Um, I literally like just added it yesterday. <laughs> Made the announcement on my page, which is but yeah, hopefully that'll be cool. I'll learn a new skill. Let me just show you the post so you can see. Okay, this is not loading. Alright, this is the post I made yesterday regarding some of the changes. If anyone's interested. Um, Alright, so wall running, or jumping, or climbing. Uh, wall running, yes, okay. <laughs> so with the wall running, let's see, this is the wall running comment section. So let's see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so event tick is like the update in Unity runs on every frame. So we're executing something on that tick and the sequence just calls things one after the other. So first we do this, <clears throat> which is a branch. So this branch is like, if we're wall climbing, then we're gonna call this update function. 
that I had or this event that I made for climbing kind of like its own update function in a way because we're, you can only use one event tick in your blueprint so instead of like making this super messy everywhere I just made an event that gets called on every frame and it acts like its own update and it only gets called if we're actually climbing which we set this to false when we're done climbing obviously and then the second thing is number one so this gets executed after the first thing and it's another branch and here the condition is If we're not falling, which makes sense, we don't want to be falling, we want to be on the ground, and we're not climbing, because we don't want to wall run if we're wall climbing. And I'm using climbing to dictate going up a wall vertically, versus running, meaning going horizontal to a wall, like running alongside the wall. <laughs> so if this is true, Then we have two branches. So for the wall running, we're checking if we have to be on the left or right side of the wall. And this condition is set somewhere. Where is the set? I have no idea. Um, let's search for it. Left side of the wall. Left side of the wall. Or not. Is it because I put, oh. It should right click copy. How do I s search this? Why isn't this coming up here? Oh, now it comes up. Okay, whatever. Maybe it's because it has to be capitalized exactly. I don't know. Okay, so this is set right here, actually. Hmm. Okay. I am not setting it anywhere. So if the condition is false, so if we're not next to any wall, then we have to check if we're next to a wall, right? Also, this is wrong somewhere, so we gotta figure out what's wrong. Hi, Nika. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so we gotta figure out if we're next to a wall. Right now, it's false. We're assuming it's false, because we're not next to anything, and it's false by default, right? So then we do a player trace. Um, which is uh, like a raycast in Unity. In this case, we get the actor right vector, which should be this way which in unreal in this case it's y y is the right vector and x is the forward vector this is interesting is investing ue as a cgi artist beneficial i'm not like super familiar with the artist side but i know that unreal is made not made, but like very optimized for artists. Workflow. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking. <laughs> and I think it is, would be very useful for you to learn it. Because a lot of big studios use Unreal, um, like AAA studios. Um, but I do some market research, look at the jobs, <clears throat> if that's what you're, bro, my voice. <clears throat> Sorry, if you're looking for jobs, then just look around the jobs in LinkedIn or like Indeed or I don't even know where they put, put them. And see what people are wanting, like the requirements. If you like Unreal, then learn Unreal. 
There'll always be people who want Unreal developers. Where was I? <laughs> Let me put this back. Okay. So, and then, so, so for the left side, we do a right vector with a length of 50. Which the right vector should be to the right times 50 should be to the left. Did I put these opposite? Hmm. <laughs> but it works. I don't know. Thanks to you, I got used to the new input system. I used to hate it. Thank you. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> It's it's definitely a quirky system, but it's you get used to it after you work with it more. Well, here I'm not so sure why I put negative 50 times negative 50 on the right vector for the Oh no. Huh? What the heck is going on here? I followed a tutorial for this. <laughs> so, not quite sure what I totally did. I was so beginner. So, okay. So, actually this is right. The right vector times 50 is still the right vector. And the condition, if it's true, we go to the right side is true. Else the left side is false. Uh, else the right side is false. Um, and then I have two variables, right side of wall and on right, on right side of wall. This is so hacky. I don't like this. The question I'm asking is why I'm checking here left side of the wall and then here I'm like setting right side of the wall. I thought it should be opposite, but okay. I might need to change that. Anyways. If it's false here, so if we're not hitting the wall, then we're going to call this off wall, which sets the gravity back to normal and the plane constraint, which plane constraint constraint basically constrains the player's movement within a certain direction or plane. Um, thank you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> okay, so... If it's false, we're off the wall. If you're not understanding this, don't worry, because I'm not either. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, so now, there, now there's a branch. Is jumping off the wall. Where are we setting this? Is jumping off the wall. Where are we setting this? Better set. Jump off the wall. You see, this is why I need a state machine, because look, this jump off the wall is all the way over here. And the actual wall running is over here, so it's hard to keep track of things. It's because I need this input action jump here. Which, now that I think about it, I could have just made an event and called that, so I can use that in multiple places, but whatever. Hey Omar, does anyone know about multiplayer here? In Unreal or in Unity? But no, for me. <laughs> but I might know about it soon. Actually, I'm curious what the the poll is going for the next series that I'm gonna do. Okay, actually, multiplayer is winning by two votes. So, so far, so with the Patreon series so far, well, it's not technically a Patreon series, but 
what their voting is for multiplayer. So there might be some multiplayer soon in my channel. Once I learn it, because the Unity documentation, I was looking at it, it's horrible. Literally, it doesn't explain anything whatsoever about multiplayer. It's just like, do this, but it doesn't explain why, which uh, literally is the whole point, learning why something works, right? Like, you just don't want to copy it and not know what you're doing. Whatever. We're on. We're in Unreal now. Let's... I'm not gonna talk about Unity. <laughs> Um, so if we jump off the wall, so if we press jump, we're pressing this. This is a branch. If we're on the right or left side of the wall, if that's true, then we're jumping off of the wall. And then we're going to launch the character off the wall, which to launch the character, there's a node called launch character. And basically we're going to launch it away from the wall. So we get the right vector of the character times it by some speed that we want to launch it at. Um, then we want to launch it to the right if the wall's on the left. So we have this select node. Basically, if it's on the right, if it's true, we're just going to launch it to the right. Else, if it's false, we're going to negate that vector and launch it to the left, to the right. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> All these rights and lefts are confusing me a little. <laughs> but basically, this is just launching it in the opposite direction of the wall, depending on what side of the wall it's on. And then we do a little delay, 0.2 seconds, and we set is jumping off the wall back to false. So it doesn't get called again. I just want to know how did big company handle listen server because there's no way to take public IP address in Unreal. Oh, in Unreal, I literally have no idea how to do multiplayer at all. <laughs> no, yeah, Megan, no, Unity's documentation is like not good. It's not good. Like their old documentation was better. The like 2018 documentation especially the multiplayer like the old documentation actually explains some of the multiplayer concepts but the new multiplayer does not explain anything whatsoever it's like you have to know about it to understand it which is like doesn't make sense but whatever <laughs> input system documentation is not great either That's why I make the videos because literally it's, there's no information or like the gamepad video I made recently was so difficult to make only because a mod helped me because it's also filled with bu bugs sometimes <laughs> um, with the newer features. So it's just, you need to, needs to work on some stuff, but whatever. Hey Derek, thank you. I appreciate it. All of my videos are input system videos at this point. <laughs> Hopefully soon I'll change it up a bit. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, but what am I doing? Oh, the branches. If we're not jumping off the wall, then let's set the actor rotation towards the wall that we're running along. Um, and that's on the Z, which is the yaw, 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 <laughs> which the Z is upwards. So when you rotate on the yaw, it's like that. Um, yeah, pitch is like that because, you know, you're throwing a pitch, you're pitching a baseball. That's how I remember it. Uh, roll, like you're rolling, you're on fire, sideways, and yaw is the last one. I guess you can remember it like yaw, yaw. <coughs> Anyways. Thank you, Megan. 
I like the new Unity logo. It's interesting. I still need to get used to it. It like went back a couple years. Like no one uses that style of logos anymore. Everyone's like stylized and cool. So it's definitely a big change for them. But it's interesting. Reminds me of GameCube. And we're getting the rotation by doing uh, this thing. So the raycast hits the wall and we're getting the hit result and we're breaking it out so we can access its properties. And this thing I've watched like the same video 300 times. It's so difficult to understand. Rotation from X vector. So basically, we're taking the normal of what we're hitting, which is the thing perpendicular to the wall. Mm. I wanna... With your with the mind of <laughs> I like to write things down. Okay, let's ignore all my stuff here. Alright, maybe I'll understand it better like this. All right, so we have a, ah, it puts my mouse to my other monitor. Oop, that's not a good wall. Okay, that's worse wall. How do I? Oh, wonderful. How do I put it to the other side? Like, do you, do you know what I mean? Ugh. Like, it's on the wrong monitor. How do I? Oh, oh my god, I'm, I'm clicking stuff by accident. Pen settings. Uh... No? Does anyone know how to do this? On screen control? Wacom. Change screen. Switch between displays. No, I don't want your cookies. Assign display toggle. Uh, final attack. I noticed there's useful information in the input system code comments that is not in the docs for some reason. Yeah, I check the GitHub a lot. That's how I learn stuff. Hey, chosen code. Thank you. I have diverged from Unreal to trying to figure out why does this not work? And look how bad this looks, come on. I know I have a 4K monitor, but like... Is it like... Uh... Damn. I don't know. Map your device towards your monitor. Oh, this looks better. Wacom tablet properties. Learn Wacom. <laughs> Wacom. Oh, this is the tablet property. Okay. So. Okay, this is. All right. 
<laughs> this is gonna be a little strange. Let's just like ignore what I'm about to do here. Um, damn, this is so freaking. How do I change to dark mode? Settings, personalization, colors. Okay, look at this. Dark, let's go to light. Oh, okay. I didn't hope that didn't. No? Okay, never mind. Okay, light looks horrible, by the way. Oh, it's here, mapping. <gasps> monitor two. No, monitor one. It's on the right one. <sighs> it is not on the right one. This is a lie. This is lying to me. Is it that hard to draw something on the stream? Okay, this is our wall. <laughs> Damn, I suck at this. This is the perpendicular vector normal to the wall. We're running along uh, this direction, I guess. Here's our person. Oh man, this is why I'm not an artist. Alright, here's him on the wall. Parkour. This sucks. <laughs> hey King Pro. Hi, uh, Gigaluti? 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 I don't know. In seven minutes, I have to take something out of the laundry for like a minute. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the normal vector. Then what we want to do is we want to rotate our player to face the the direction of the wall. So to do that, we have to get a we're getting the hit result. The normal, because there's like no parallel vectors. This is the only vector we got, the normal one. So, we want to find out... Ah, this vector, or this is like the way they're running. What? Run. Choo. Ooh. Hey, med user one one one. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is uh, we're taking this normal vector and we want to rotate it that way towards the wall, parallel to the wall. <sighs> So much work just to draw this stupid thing. I could have drawn that with my mouse. Hey, Paolo. Fuck. <laughs> um, rotate from X vector. So, let's see. It returns the F rotator orientation corresponding to the direction in which the vector points. So basically, we're getting the rotation from this normal, from the x vector, which I guess is the forward vector. So we're getting like the rotation of this direction, and we're getting the z value. Um, the Z value 
because we want to rotate the character along its yaw, which is like that. I'm drawing better with my mouse. Let's excuse all that unnecessary work I just went through. Hey, Vinet. Or Vinet. Sorry, sorry. Breakfast with Unreal. I don't know if I'd want that kind of breakfast, but you're welcome. <laughs> All right, basically, and we're getting the yaw of this rotation. I'm also like free, free, free minding this. Like, I'm not totally sure, but I guess this is what it does. And then we want to rotate it. So we're adding 90 degrees so it can rotate 90 degrees towards that direction. And that's the new rotation we're setting on our actor. That actually makes sense, yeah. And then we're setting the velocity of our character. Getting the forward vector of our actor and multiplying the X and the Y by 500. Which the X is forwards and the Y is sideways. Um, I found that worked well. Well, excuse me. Vinny? Okay, cool. Hey, Lucas, thank you. <laughs> and then we set the gravity to zero because obviously we don't want gravity while we're wall running. Right. And then we constrain the player on which axis to move on. Spaghetti is less. Well, the spaghetti is still down here. <laughs> All right, and the same goes for the other side. It just does the same thing, which is this is also just really repetitive because it's like doing the same thing twice. Just but but for but just for different directions. So I also don't like that repetitiveness here for no reason. Um So now the question is what's going on? I have no idea. All right, so it doesn't wall run up. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So it doesn't wall run when it's supposed to jumping. It does if I'm running against the wall, but then it doesn't stop. Okay, so let me write this down. Try Trello again. What do you mean? Trello. What's up with Trello? Trello! I just put, it's weird. Do not wall run while in midair. Yeah, I don't actually know the reason. Sorry, sometime I can't remember the procedure to make them. Goat simulator? No. <laughs> it's not goat simulator. At all. <laughs> goat simulator is such a weird game. It's not the wall that's the issue, it's my logic somewhere that I'm... It was working. I was, it, something happened that's not. So, okay, so one issue is it's not. Um, not triggering wall run when jumping normally. Um, Another issue is it doesn't stop while running when off the wall. I mean the animation. It is buggy. It doesn't work. Broken. 
Oh, I need to take something out of the laundry. <laughs> Here, you can look at the blueprints. Uh, all right, here's the slide code, so you can just... Oh wait, I actually need it. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> I need to take something out of the laundry. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hi. Um, Agum? 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 Hello. Sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> okay. My hair just got messed up in the running. <laughs> okay, so... Everything's good, good, good. Cool. I don't even know why I said that, but whatever. What was I doing? Okay. So, let us see. Wall run. So one of the issues is that the wall run is not getting triggered correctly. For starters, that's the starters. So. So the wall run happens when we jump. Oh geez. No wonder it doesn't work. Look at this. Okay. Hey, Ilba. How are you? <laughs> welcome, welcome. So when we jump, uh, we check if it's on the wall. If it's not, then we have this do once, which basically jumps once, and it doesn't let you jump until you reset it again, just to avoid spamming the jump key. Too often. Uh, lots of stuff going on here. I don't even know what this is doing here. I guess we can delete this. So, first we check, is vaulting? Is, are we currently vaulting? Um, I can't tell where these arrows are going. 
Okay. If it's false, then we perform an arrow trace forward. If it hits something, then we set a timer called potential wall climb. I'm not even using this here. Racing game. Uh, possible to develop a complete game using only blueprints. Yeah, my friend actually did that or is doing that. And he did a Kickstarter recently and he got fully funded. Only blueprints. Um, it was pretty impressive. Maybe I can find it? Because I retweeted one of the tweets, too. Yeah, this one. This game. Made entirely with blueprints. Oh, jeez. Which is pretty awesome. So yeah, anything's possible. Off for different size items. Inventory slot in Unity? Huh? Oh, you mean for do it? For you doing it? Oh, well, see ya. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. So we're setting this timer. Potential wall climb, which is an event. And it's getting called every 0 0.001 seconds. And it's looping. Thanks, Nick Dev, for subscribing. And we're doing... This basically checks if we can wall climb. It says it here. And uh, this is the logic to see if we can wall climb. If we can't, then we just jump normally. Now the question is vaulting. Okay, so when we perform the player trace, it uses this arrow, the middle one here, this red one, if it, no, it just uses the normal one. Uh-huh. It just uses the normal actor forward vector, just kidding. Which should be somewhere along the middle anyways. If it's false, if it doesn't hit anything, um, we check if we can vault over something. So then we do another arrow trace, check if there's something under us, and that uses this arrow. So that's where the vaulting takes place. Um, if we do hit a wall, then we do this potential wall climb. And if that doesn't work out, we jump normally. Now the question is... Hey William, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, you can ask any questions on our Discord. Help channel or Unity channel or Unreal channel or... Supporter help channel. <laughs> now the question is... When we jump. We want to check if we can wall run. No. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's development for you. I watched this tutorial. By Uisco. That's actually where I got the animation from too, which I'm actually gonna change it. Um Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. A 
doesn't. Oh, I wish I could see the whole script instead of watching this video. Do I prefer Blueprint? I haven't really tried C++ that much within the context of Unreal, so... I guess I prefer it. <laughs> Technically. Technically, I do. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, Sergei? Sergei? Oh. Sorry. I just make weird noises when I don't know how to pronounce someone's name because I don't want to say it wrong by accident. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Ignore me. Alright. You can tell how scattered my brain is in these streams. Like, Alright, so what's going on here? If it's- this is doing the actual setting the wall run. So why isn't this working? What's not getting executed here? The condition, are we falling? Not flying and not on the ground. Mm, so falling just means we're not on the ground. So technically it's not really falling. You can be going up and it's falling, be true. Do you like Un Unreal Engine 5 better than I Unreal Engine 4? Um, honestly, I don't have much experience with UE4 to really say, but they're kind of the same thing. Like the UI is kind of similar. This is just like a the next version, I guess, like an upgrade. I need a DLC. <laughs> so we're not falling. Then are we on the right or left side? This is what it says. So maybe this is falling. Maybe we want to make it true. Let's do it. If we're falling and we're not climbing. I don't really know. I would use Unreal if my potato PC work. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... Oh, my jeez. It is... It does require a lot of good specs. I'm not even using the recommended specs. Which is the funniest thing. And I have a good computer. Like a, a decent setup. And they're like, no, that's not good enough. Okay, that was the issue. Easy peasy. That was much easier than I thought. Okay, wait, did that literally just fix it? That was fast. Alright, that's a new error. Um, okay, this is done. New error is stop wall run when hit collision in front. Or just hit collision in general. Uh, okay, let me see what happens when we get off the wall here. Did that fix my problem? That's it? I am so surprised. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, ignore me. Well, that was easy. Um, I hope that was useful. <laughs> All right, simple. Stop wall running when hit collision. Do not wall run while in midair. Well, that's the point, right? All right, let's... Oh my, that's not what I meant to do. I really hate the, the jump, it feels so floaty. 
All right, I want to do something. Yeah, you can wall run even if you haven't jumped. If you're falling, you can still wall run. Which is interesting. Do -do, do -do -do. Do something here. Parkour racing game for mobile. This is cannot go on mobile. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't see a lot of people using Unreal for mobile games. Can we make an abstraction in Blueprint like we can in C++? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, let's see. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry. So many things are happening this morning. In 10 minutes, I have to go down and get my dog, but it's only for like a minute. <laughs> hey, Raphael. Imagine doing this in Unity. It must be a lot of work. Yeah, I cannot imagine. <laughs> you can use Unreal for mobile games. Every game includes the ability to watch your power levels drop. <laughs> you can mark a blueprint class abstract by checking generate abstract class. Oh, see? That's easy. There you go. Hey, Raphael. Welcome. <laughs> I don't even really have a start time. I just start whenever. I guess I started earlier than usual. Sorry. Um. Okay, so we want to stop wall running when we hit a collision. So, Unreal Collision Enter. Well, actually, we're going to be. We want to mm, ignore, sorry, the collider we're currently on, but listen to other collisions. So, sphere collision setup, world set, physics body. In this case, the sphere is a physics body and is set to block world dynamic. Hit event. Overlap and ignore. Uh. This is actually pretty good. I'm going to add it to my reading list. Hey, Raphael, we're just working on wall running. It wasn't working. And then I just changed a Boolean statement and now it works. Oh, so, pretty 
cool. And now I'm just trying to make the character stop whenever it collides with something. Like this should stop wall running. So now I'm just trying to see how to do collisions here. Ah, wonderful. On actor begin overlap. Thanks, Danielle. Daniel for subscribing. I can see this working for Unity. Future tutorial. <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> that would take a really long time. Right now, I after this. Uh, not after this. Um, I need to do the Patreon series, which they're currently voting on. Which, hopefully, I have a preference, but ML API is currently winning. <laughs> I think you need to make use of the event hit from capsule component and check the hit result. If it's not the same as the one hit from the wall running trace. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Um, event hit. Bumps into a blocking object. For collisions during physics simulation to generate hit events, simulation generate hit events must be enabled. Mm, how do I know if this is physics simulation? I don't think so. I don't... No, when receiving a hit from another object's movement, the directions of hit normal will be adjusted to indicate force from the other object. Normal impulse will be filled for physics simulating bodies. Uh, zero for swept component blocking collision. What's my preference? Oh, it's the multiplayer one. Because <laughs> I also want to learn how to do it. But I also want to learn shaders. But I think the multiplayer one would be more useful, I guess. Not a physics simulation. Yeah. Teacher, can I go to the... <laughs> I don't know. Can you? <laughs> oh my god, I hated when professors did that. Yes, you can do whatever you want. It is your life. They're like, can you use the restroom? Uh, you have to say may. May I use the restroom? That's so stupid. Like, all of them said that all the time you asked. It was like, don't I have anything better to do? <laughs> Go to the rest. <laughs> okay, my component, other component, other versus other component. Other, the other actor, other component. The component on the other actor involved in the collision, that was hit. Unreal primitive component. Primitive component. Our scene components that contain or generate some sort of geometry generally to be rendered or used as collision data. I see. So it's collision data. Alright, so if we hit something, I'm gonna do a branch if we're currently wall running. So, wall running is a boolean. I'm just gonna copy that here. So, if we're wall running, if we're on the left or the right side of the wall, who is the boss in shaders? <laughs> Please recommend names. Um, um, shoot. Jetelli games This one They're gonna make a shader book, which is actually pretty cool This is one. Oh This is cool. I actually wanted to learn how to do this Unity personal Schlater I got a bunch of nice shader tutorials here 
Some of them are in Spanish, but uh, they put subtitles and they have English ones too. That's pretty cool. Well, soon I'm gonna have to go down to get my dog for like a minute or two. Because he went to get a bath today. So if we are wall running and we hit something, um, then we have to check uh, another statement. We have to check what we're hitting. Um, and we have to make sure that does not equal our current wall. So let's store our current wall if we are wall running. Um, uh, <laughs> so hit. Hit actor, actor hit by the trace. Unreal actor. Oh my god, that's not what I meant. <laughs> any object. Okay, so an actor is any object. Okay. So let's make a variable and say current wall. Current wall running against. This is horrible naming, I know. And let's set the type to actor. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to the hit actor from our hit result. And this is only, oh, okay. Give me three minutes. <laughs>
got a little bandana on and everything. <laughs> I did that. Isn't he so cute? Isn't he so cute? Okay, he's busy. I said I was getting my dog. <laughs> It's just the elevator takes forever to go up and down. <laughs> um, give your best pickup line. You have so many agendas. The boss. I stream on Twitch too. Not yet. I, I was thinking of it. I don't know if my internet would let me. Probably because this seems fine. Uh, Streamlabs has this feature where you can stream to multiple places, so I was thinking of buying it. The subscription thing, so... I don't know, what do you think? Do you think I should also stream on Twitch, like, at the same time? It just streams the same thing to two different places. I don't know, it's... Yeah, it's my little poopy. My little... <laughs> I call him my little poopy. <laughs> Instead of popper, I said poop. I say poopy. <laughs> Is Blender enough? Yeah. Shaders will be preset within the code. If you use UE4, we'll give you the option of what shader. Uh -huh. I think so. Gift subs are a pretty popular way to support streamers. There's so, like a concept of subs here too. I don't see a problem with streaming in more platforms. What would happen with the chat? Yeah, that's the only issue. I'd have to like read two chats at the same time. Wait, what? There's just 46 people watching me. Be gone for like... Um... Yeah, that's the only issue with streaming to multiple platforms. You'd have to like read two chats and then one person might be confused if they can't see the other chat. So what some people do is they put the chat on the screen, but then if you have two chats, then that's too much on the screen. Yeah, there's no winning. There's the pros and cons to everything. He is like a cat. It kinda is. He's like a weird dog, almost like a cat dog. Hey Sam, good to see you. Hello. Welcome back. How's your progress going with this? I haven't checked and, and I'm very interested to see your progress. Restream kind of lets you do that. Restream. You can combine both chats together. What is restream? Well... Pricing! That's what I care about. Oh, it's free? Hmm. It's free. I like the sound of free. Do they also like do donations and stuff when the people donate, like something pops up or something? Mm, I don't know. I have to try this out. This is cool. All right, I'm gonna save this somewhere. Hi, Kinder. Thank you. I'm not sure it's not that big of a deal. That sounds great. It's free. I'm not sure who gets your data. <laughs> yeah, when something's free, someone someone's getting money for something. Or paying money for something. They'll probably sell out your analytics or something. Well, I'm sure Streamlabs also does the same thing, so. This is cool though. Streamlabs. Multiple 
platforms chat. Maybe Streamlabs does it. Da -da -dun -dun. Aggregated chat. Oh. Oh, they did that. Oh, but this is more for viewing it. It's not displaying it. Well, I'll see what what goes on here. That's a good thing to review. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the progress. Kept forgetting. Uh, basically, um, same as usual. We can slide, which I actually need to change the slide because it uses root motion, and you see it kind of slows down the character after the slide. Similar issue we were having with the vault. And then we can vault, and the vaulting does not use root motion anymore. And it only vaults if a platform is thin enough, which is pretty cool. Still need to fix some stuff, like if you're too close, then kind of trip over it, you know. Um, and then we can wall climb. This took a long time. Sometimes it's a little glitchy at the top, like it does a little jump. And now it's working on wall running, which I fixed it pretty easily. Oh, well that's cool. And now I just want to make it so that when we collide with something while we're wall running, that it just stops wall running, which makes sense. Do classes on Unreal Engine? Not yet. I want to do tutorials on it. Um, yeah, but first I need to focus on the series that's going to get chosen, because that's going to take a while. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry. I'm going to give you a hug. Oh my god. I was going to give him a hug and he ran away. He's a cat. He's literally, like, that's the best explanation I think I've heard. He's a cat dog. How did I learn the engine? I had some previous experience, not much, in my job, um, and I did the game jam once. I just learn as I go. And I watch tutorials on two times the speed, I don't even follow along with them sometimes. I did follow along with some tutorials actually. Yeah, you can just... If you're not subscribed, um, you'll get like notifications on videos if you hit the bell icon. Or if you join our Discord, you'll also get notifications. Alright, so here we check, are we currently running against a wall? So let's set that here. Before setting the actor rotation. So set current wall running against. And if we are off of the wall, then let's just set this to null or something. Empty. Actually, I actually have no idea how to set this to empty, but. Unreal empty actor. I don't know where and why I got scribed to you, but it looks awesome. Thank you. Uh, sorry, my nose is... Can we publish the game I made using UE5? What do you mean, we publish? You can publish your games. You may have an actor that may have a specific geometry component set up that allows you to run on a wall and eventually hit itself. <laughs> hit itself. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'll mute that. Any advice for learning blueprints? Um, advice for learning blueprints? Oh my god, let me put my phone over there because it keeps vibrating. Um, 
Advice for learning blueprints is... Uh, I have you right... Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I have a playlist for you. There. That playlist has 666 videos, I know, on different nodes in Unreal Blueprints and explanations on them. How'd you learn programming? I did a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and that's where I learned. Personally, that's what worked for me. You can choose another route. And I was in industry for a year as a software engineer, and then I left recently, and now I'm doing trying to do my own stuff. Advice is to start with Unreal Engine. Um, mm, I just like start with blueprints and just trying to make simple stuff for like a game jam. There's some excellent tutorials out there and like introductions to Unreal. Um, just watch that and get like a feel of how it works. Just practice. That's how anything is mostly. I'm from the US. Thank you, Zumaki. Sasuke. Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke. It's a Naruto reference, right? I hope. I'm not just like <laughs> messing with your name. <laughs> hey, hey. Current wall running against. So if we're running against the wall, ha ha, here. If we're hitting something and we're running against the wall. So if current wall running against is, how do I do like exists or is set? How do I know if something is not null? What do you think about Unity? Unity is fine. Is valid. Unity is great. It's kind of confusing sometimes, but. All right, so this basically checks if it's not null, so I have to make sure to set this to null. Unreal, uh, Unity is great for 2D games. And just a lot of stuff in general. 3D games too. <laughs> There's a learning curve, but that's what it's like for most engines. <laughs> okay, so how can I set this to null? Does not equal null. Okay. So this is. Maybe like a reset. You don't think you can set it to null? Any? Any? That seems unfortunate. You're lucky you got UE5. I wish I was, but I'm stuck with UE4. Ah, kind of the same. Just set an empty class and check an equality. Unreal Engine is kind of difficult, but like, on Unity is kind of difficult too, so that's just a small learning curve. Hi, Migi, Migui Pop. Hello. But for Unity, I'm not a fan of working with nodes. 
Yeah, it depends on what you like, honestly. Unity for mobile game, yeah. Uh. So you're saying to set another variable that's false? That seems so stupid. There's no, like, no pointer. <laughs> Sync animation rigging with Photon in Unity. No idea. Good luck. <laughs> that seems complicated. Marley. Da 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 da. All right, so I don't even. Oh, that's right. We're already wall running, so this should be set already. The hoi. Sorry. Okay, so this should be set already, so let's just assume that it's wall running. Actually, I don't even need to check this. Okay, if it's wall running and we're hitting a wall. No, if it's wall running and we're hitting something. Then we have to check that it's not hitting, is not equal, e equal, not equal. So we have to check that whatever we're hitting is not equal to the current wall that we're running against. And this is a branch if statement, the condition. Oh, I guess we can, instead of doing another branch, we can just do an and statement here. And, hi Marley, what's up? Marley is my dog's name. And that, and let's also check that we're not colliding against ourselves get our actor I think it's this one, right? capsule component does not equal capsule component and that and let's set this as the condition right? VR and Unity is awesome. Yeah, VR, if you're doing VR, Unity's very nice workflow. I don't know, Unreal, I used to try to in Unreal, but it was still early and there wasn't a lot of information and tutorials on it, but definitely Unity has a lot of VR tutorials. The end is near. So hurry up with your game. Harry, Harry? area is there a stream on twitch no but now everyone's asking for it so i'll just try to stream on twitch too at the same time i'll try to figure that out let me write that down i'm gonna forget <laughs> uh stream on twitch multi-stream setup is there some way to check the wall for some tags yeah. My dog is just like staring at me. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you staring at me? I think he's angry because he got a bath. He gets kind of angry when he gets baths. Like giving me a deaf stare, like, oh, this is your fault. You can use self. Get a reference to self. Oh, okay. Thanks. What's my MBTI? What the heck does that mean? I can't seem to get water to work. 
I have no idea how to do water, so sorry. <laughs> I haven't gotten there. Okay, if we're stewing it, then we want to stop the wall running. So, we want to call this thing to end the wall run. We should just have like a stop wall running function, but let's just do this, see if this works. If that's true, then we set the left side of the wall to false. Set the right side of the wall to false. Oh. And then we call off wall. Which is here. Okay, compile, save. Ah, oh, no compiler errors. Oh, now he's getting a sunbathe. Okay. Houdini? I have not used Houdini. Um, I, I'm not really a 3D person, or a blender person. I need to learn though, at least to do simple stuff like low poly, so I can get by. Okay, so we were doing this should hit it and we should technically fall off no nope. so what do we do we put a breakpoint and we hope for the best okay so this this is not obviously that's a good wall step over so the condition is false. Okay, so that's good. Resume. Okay, so now it's hitting it. Step over. The condition is true. Oh, well that worked. Step over, step over. Step over. Step over. Oh, it keeps hitting it. Okay, well, at least we know that it's calling this. But it's not getting off the wall. So we're setting this to false and immediately right after it's like, okay, it's false, but we're still next to a wall. So technically we still run. Um, all right. So let's just call this off wall. And... The issue is it's still detecting it's next to a wall. In the case of here, we launch the character and there is a delay. Which actually lets set here. Uh, let's just copy that actually Let's mimic what works um, When is off wall called here? Okay, so Okay <laughs> Let's just make sure we're covering all the bases here. Set these two to false. I know this is spaghetti. I don't like it either. Uh, 
Um, do you know how to make multiplayer games in Unreal? Nope. Blender has a bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's very rewarding. Yeah, it's just, you have to dedicate some time to it. If you hit something, doesn't your velocity drop? Why not just check character movement velocity? That's true. That's a good point. Um, but this works. Also. Where we're just checking... Also... We wanna... Maybe if there's like a projectile shot towards the player, we also want the player to stop while running in that case. I don't know if that would necessarily stop his velocity. In this case, this accounts for all uh, like projectiles that are not the current wall and not the current player. I never understood the difference between versions. I thought newer meant update, but you got companies like NetherRealm that still uses the old version. NetherRealm. Are you meaning like... Well, a lot of the time companies stick to versions because they have like tools for that version and like a lot of their code base is in that version and also comfort with the version and updating sometimes is more trouble than it's worth this is cool oh they're the one behind these games i feel like there should be a can wall run whether you decide whether you're allowed to wall run That is a good point. I do have a can vault, which is similar. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, can I put like a to do here? Can wall run. Cool. I don't know if this helps, but in Unreal, in my Unity Parkour, I made a 0.1 second stop to check for a wall floor when I wanted to make sure it would jump off the wall without reattaching instantly. Oh, I see. Yeah, like kind of delay. I decided to delay right here. Does your project run at the moment? Sorry for asking. Yeah. I, sh I thought I showed you. <laughs> um. Crouch. Oh, I put the breakpoint. Whoops. Okay, crouch. Uh, slide if you sh press shift and control. I don't know if I want the crouch in general, but you can vault. Um, it doesn't vault over this because it's too long. Um, to some of the vaulting still needs some bug fixes, like if you vault too close to it, it's weird. Also, if you press spacebar within a certain, certain threshold, it waits until it's close enough to actually vault over, so it gives the player a little leeway. And you can uh, wall climb here. And now, we can wall- oh! I have to fix this a little. You can wall- Oh, this is an interesting bug. Oh no, I can't jump anymore. Wonderful. <clears throat> Each version change is another chance for incompatibility. Yeah, exactly. New update, new problem. <laughs> Especially with Unity updates. <laughs> oh man. Um, crouch properly. I had to do something for the crouch to make it work. Oh, here it is if you want. Kind of. Mm, I don't even know what I did here. But it left control if we're not falling and... 
This is to make sure we're not sprinting. If we're not sprinting and we're not sliding, then we can crouch, which we just call crouch. And if we release it, then we press uncrouch. And we have to make sure if we're crouching. Do uncrouch. Alrighty. I don't get the differences between for all these versions. Well, the versions, they add new stuff. Oh. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is not intended, but that is kind of cool. I don't even... <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Just... Just ignore the platform. Damn. Oh, 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 you can do it diagonally. Oh, my dog scared me. And then you can't jump after. Well, whatever. Thanks for subscribing, y'all. Next level game mechanics, Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> definitely not intended. Um, we have to hear... I don't think we're checking if we're actually jumping off the wall. Because... Oh, is jumping... Get is jumping off wall. We have to make sure this is false. So if not jumping off the wall, add another pin to the and statement. Um. Okay. All right. Well, this is definitely not wall. Oh. Whoa! Okay, I'm stuck here. Some intense exercise. Thank you, Suriyaru. Is the character's rotation locked? Yep, it's locked when you're wall running. Locked. Yeah. Only when you jump off can you change it. Um. Up wall sets the gravity back to one. Gravity. One is going down, right? No! Oh, I hate Visual Studio. It takes longer to close it than to open it. want to make sure I'm not no one seems right so we set it to one and then we set the plane constraint back and then we all right let's set these values after we're done jumping off the wall. Unset them because this is what determines the wall running. 
Um, have you? How have you been live since this video? Sorry. Oh, it's just a cute puppy, one month old. Bye, Raphael. I hope you have fun with your puppy. That's so cute. What about left control to stop while running? Um, it's more like I want it to stop automatically when you hit something. So it's more natural. Teach me what you know. It's what I'm doing. Hi, Raphael. Thanks for joining. How long? Oh, like, I think I've been on for two hours. Or more? I have no idea. Ground check. Now this this works. Like this is working. It's just the actual ra wall running logic is kind of finicky, so it like keeps. Uh, okay. Thanks for subscribing, someone. Oh. Oh. If we're falling and we're not climbing and we're not jumping off the wall. But right here I'm s putting... Jumping off the wall, true. Launch the player. We want to launch the player in the opposite direction, right? Actually, let's just copy this. Here. And then we want to delay before setting this back to false. Er. I don't know. Why is it going up? <laughs> ah. Learning visual scripting. Here's a tutorial series on different nodes that might help you out. Um, just watch some tutorials to get a hang of the basics. And then if you think about the logic in your head, be like, okay, I want this to happen. So how can I get there? And then I just Google it. Like, how do I do this? And this pops up. Oh, an hour and a half? Oh, I thought it was on for longer, but okay. Bye, Su Suhail. Uh, if speed is below, then stop. I want to do it. Well, I want to... <laughs> I want to do it with a projectile, just in case the player gets shot by something. It works. Like, this, this is working. That's not the issue. <laughs> Actually, this is getting called a couple times in a row. So let's also make sure we're already not jumping off the wall. Is jumping off the wall. Get. So, and we're not jumping off the wall. Just to make sure this isn't called more than needed. This is pretty bad. I know, I really don't like this spaghetti. Oh, jeez. For Unity, Playmaker and Bolt, for UE, for a Blueprints. In watching tutorials, it helps to also have the engine open and follow along. Yeah. You should definitely... <laughs> 
that was loud. You should definitely follow along with tutorials. It helps you. But then you shouldn't entirely rely on them either. So once you get a good grasp of the basics, then try to do something without using a tutorial. All right, I added a breakpoint here just to tell what is going on. All right, so this should be true. Okay, step into, we wanna step into this function. Set gravity to one. This is re resets the plane constraint so we can move in any direction. Is jumping off wall to true. Launch character. And then we delay. Then this is called again. But it's false because it's jumping off the wall is true. And now this is true. Okay, see, it jumped off the wall, but there wasn't enough time. To reach the ground. So I think that's where we can do this can wall run, I guess. Boolean. Can we wall run? Or we can set a delay. In this case, I want it to reach the ground before it wall runs again. Oh, hey, Ironclad VR. Dialogue system, nice. Thank you. Hey, Abby. Um. How do you grow a good game idea? How do I... How do you grow? Uh... You mean like the design of a game? Setting delay is better, maybe. Because here it says diff is falling, so this is gonna be true. Let's try setting a bigger delay, see what happens. Um, I would read some books on designing games. There's actually one in the description on the Amazon shop at the bottom of the description. I recommend one of them. It's called Designing Games. Pretty good read. Hey Studio, Kite. Kite. Water the sa sapling. All right, let's set the delay to two. Thanks for subscribing, everyone. By the way. By the way. By the way, this is totally wrong. But whatever. All right, this is way more weird than ever, but okay. Let's try a delay of like five. Just want to see what happens here. Yes. Game design. I mean, I, I can't just. There's a lot of stuff to game design. I'd read a book on it, honestly. Because it's just... Or like, a couple books on it. <laughs> I 
Maybe I can make a video on it one day. There's another... There's a channel. Here, let's talk game design. I actually don't know. Yeah. Oh, this jacket is making me sweat. Mm. So the issue is that my code sucks. You're looking for entire designs? Well, no one's gonna hand you the design for your game. Yeah. That's what you mean. You have to make it or design it yourself or hire someone to design it. There are some articles and stuff on previous game designs that you can look for inspiration. Hi, Santosh. Hope I said that right. Did you learn Unity first? Yes. Personally. All right, so. Is there an is grounded function? Oh, that's cold is falling. All right, let's do something. Let's make a variable. Can, can wall run. Uh, can wall run. Can we wall run and set the type to Boolean? So let's put point two here. <laughs> disconnect this here right there. okay so let's set this boolean can we wall run to false it's already set to false um is jumping off the wall and we, can we wall run no as we're trying to get off the wall So now we want to see when we want to set it back. Can we wall run when we're on the ground? Also, let's set this can wall run boolean the default to true compile and let's set it to true for the default value for now. Do you know how to make VR games in UE5? No. I once did a VR little thing in UE4, but I have no recollection of that whatsoever. Um, but no. Hey, Prashish. Hope I said that right. I'm good, how are you? Switching between Unity and Unreal. Uh, just pick the one you like best. Oh, I paused the music. <laughs> Depending on your project. Okay, so now we want to do like a thing. Basically, um, wait until it's on the ground to be able to wall run. And I did this before somewhere. Uh, 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 set timer. Set timer. There we go.
so potential wall climb. So it's an event. So let's add a custom custom event. Wall run falling. I know that's bad. So basically, what we're I'm trying to mimic a curtain in Unity, <laughs> but here it's timers. So we're gonna start a timer. Here. Let's ignore this delay. So set is jumping off walls to fall. So let's start this timer, which we'll call wall run falling every 0 0.001 seconds. And then basically here we want to check if if we're on the ground. So this is gonna be an if statement. So if we are not falling, falling, are we falling? Not, <laughs> we're not falling. Um, if we're not falling, so we're on the ground, if that's true, then we want to now clear this timer. And it has a reference to the timer we set here. And now that we're on the ground successfully, Then let's set our right side and left side to false. Compile, save. Have you worked at a AAA studio? No. We could always hippity hop some code, but we learn nothing. Yeah. We could just magically learn everything. I wish. <laughs> But there's something fun about learning, so. Did you see plus plus in Unreal? Um, if you're using Unity, I would not use Bolt. I mean, I haven't even used Bolt. But if you're making an actual game, like you should learn how to use C sharp in Unity. Unreal. Uh, Unreal's blueprint system is way better than Bolt. Like, I don't even, I don't even have to use Bolt to know that. This has been in development for years. Like, this is widely used in industry. They have a lot of stuff figured out. Unreal, you can get by with blueprints. Hey, what kind of game am I making? I'm making a parkour system. Flash game. I'm just trying to wall run, and if it hits something... See, I can slide. Ooh. Um, I want to wall run, and if it hits something, to stop wall running. And... Not doing that. <laughs> Indie dev full time. Um, I don't know if it's really full time, but I recently left my job and I'm focusing on YouTube. But. Definitely not making enough money to live off this. <laughs> so, but I'd recommend uh, marketing your project and establishing an audience. If you want to make money while you do stuff, whether that be through YouTube, Patreon. Why UE5 and not 4? Because it's the new thing and I like new things. PC specs, and I want to do tutorials on this. Uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, i7, 10th gen, RTX 3080. 
forgot the rest. You don't like Unity? What? Do you want to work in a AAA studio? No. <laughs> Do you have disabled gravity while wall running? Yes. Here. Mm. I just want to do my own stuff. I don't want to work for anyone. <laughs> here, I'm setting the gravity to zero when we we're wall running. And then here in the off wall, I'm setting it back to one. Why? What? Could make a bunch of tools and sell them on the asset store. You know Freya Homer did that with the shapes asset and it's been going very well for her. Like very well. But then again she's like a math wizard and it took her a long time to make this asset. And she has a lot of experience in the industry too. C sharp is not as difficult compared to C++. Yeah, C++ is definitely more complicated, I think. Working for yourself, hard but worth it, yeah. Well, let's just see how it goes. How long it lasts. <laughs> Gotta pay them bills, you know. Thanks, med user. Hey, Showtime Gaming. Hopefully it goes fine. Yes, I agree. It will be awesome. I have to be positive. It is awesome. Will be awesome. Already awesome. I try to stream every Wednesday. Around the morning, sometimes in the afternoon on Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's do something. Um, let's set a breakpoint here. Oh, this is not supposed to happen. Why is this getting true? If we're on the right or the left, and this is not null, and we're not jumping off the wall, Oh, this is getting executed when we're on the wall. It's not. That's what this is for. Node-based programming makes my blood become sand. Hey, Bibin, thank you. Honestly, you could live a great life and sell it as an NFT. Literally everyone and their mother is doing that, though. <laughs> also, I want to do stuff that I like, you know? Like, I don't want to spend my time doing something I don't like. Or that I'm not interested in. Because time is money. 
And then... I'm not a fan of NFTs, honestly. Just... I don't really see the reason for them, but... <laughs> don't come at me. I'm in the same boat as you. Let's do our best. Yeah, let's go. Ironclad VR. Increase your memes per clip. Bye, Santosh. Thank you for coming. Keep the balance of your soul being healthy and your physical self being healthy. That is true. But we also need money to pay the bills. So. <laughs> But I don't need to resort to NFTs just yet. Project Feline. Yeah, I've actually been following it for a couple years. It's amazing how they keep working on it. I'm actually really interested in it. I'd like to play it one day. How do I plan on getting new assets? Well, the animation pack I bought when it was on sale. And I have no idea. The animation pack, the creator said he takes requests, which I'm guessing, like, pay him. Or them, sorry. I don't really know. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Why is everyone's message being retracted? <laughs> Alright, so there's an issue here. And one of the issues is that I don't know where my mouse is. Where the heck is it? I like literally completely lost it. Oh, I oh, it's like literally it's lost. Okay, so this is getting run while we're on the wall, which is correct because we're hitting the wall, but we don't want the branch to be true. If we're on the right or left side, And the other object is, this is the part where it's not supposed to be true, but it is. Enable breakpoint. Um, okay, let's try here. False. Wait, now it's not, I understand. Hey Bastian, how are you? Have you tried game ability system? Nope. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um cooldown timers wow this looks very useful something that i wish i'd known previously probably <laughs> they define ability asynchronous building blocks Interesting. A three hour video. Wow. Okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, this is a C tutorial, though. So I'll add it to my and blueprint. Here's the. Oh, not what it. Not quite sure what it does, but sometimes you have to do things you don't want to survive. This can burden your soul. People do this for too long, thinking it's the only way to survive. It leads to serious problems. Use the term soul loosely, because it can mean your mental health too. Hey, Geek Zero. Yeah, I agree. Um, sometimes there is no other option though. 
like if you have a child, for example, you can't just like quit your job with no backup. Because then you need to feed your child or someone in your family, right? So it depends on your ability, I guess, your circumstances to do something. So some people don't have such circumstances available to. But there is always a there's always a way to like improve. Yeah, I was like in industry and I was like, wow, this is supposed to be everything I ever wanted, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, this is not for me. I like this. Like game dev, like YouTube, teaching people. It's nice. It's fun. I help people. And I'm having fun. Even though I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but whatever. That's life. Okay, so in this case it worked. Um, step over. Okay, so we said that's true. Now let's set this branch at a breakpoint so I can see if this is getting executed. Can wall run? Oh, I didn't set this anywhere. Oof, that's an issue. Can wall run? Get can wall run. And can we wall run? Which, we should probably do something with this more. Can we use NVIDIA Flex? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, like, it depends on the situation. Like, some people don't even have computers sometimes. Like their own computer, so it, like, it's just... Not everyone is in the same boat. But hey, as long as you keep working towards what you want, then you'll get there one day. All right, so step over, step over, step over, step over. Okay, this is false. So now, because we can't wall run anymore. Okay, so let's put resume. What? How's it going up? Oh, because I'm launching the character up. Damn. Do you need to pay access? No, this is free. Up to... If you make over a million dollars, I think, in a year, then you have to pay 5% royalties to Unreal. But this is free otherwise. <laughs> yeah. NVIDIA Flex. 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 <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> okay, the issue is I'm launching it upwards constantly. And for some reason this is getting executed.
And I think the issue is because this setting here is jumping off a wall. I'm like putting it too early. And then it keeps setting, it keeps launching the character continuously. So I should do it after here, I think. Do 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 It's jumping off wall true and then false. Okay. Compile. There's a shortcut for this. Good to go. <laughs> I love how they just named it. Good to go. Damn. There's some... Hmm. Much better. Very thick. Just don't make any money and we're good. Sweet. I appreciate what Sam is doing because it's very organic teaching. Learning while teaching and showing the process. It's a teaching structure that I've only seen a few professors use. Oh, you mean like right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to teach while I also learn. Kind of hard. <laughs> but hey, that's what life is. Damn. You made me all philosophical today. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? What the heck is going on here? Oh. Uh. It's because the breakpoint is being hit immediately before this has a chance to... Alright, alright. Ah! Wait, did it work? Let me remove the breakpoint. Uh, do I have any more? No. Oh wait, okay. So the issue is, oh my geez. The issue was, I think, that the Boolean kept getting called because I didn't have. All right, so I think it's going up because I'm launching the character up on the Z. Z override. Review, true, replace the Z component of the character's velocity instead of adding to it gotcha so that's it's like definitely not helping that i'm launching it up so that is more that's better however the animation is still playing because now it doesn't want to wall run lovely the animation is playing because if we, I think, go to mannequin animation, third person blueprint, and I think, here, wall run left and wall run right. So the condition here is wall run left side, and to exit it's wall run left side, not which I put a boolean here and this is set in the event graph somewhere see wall run right side so here it just checks the blueprint to see what the current value is so the issue is that it's like still set so the animation is still playing so I have to move this before Oof. this happens um so that the animation kind of stops playing and then we can figure out all the other issues or not 
There's also a problem where it's not wall running a second time after we... St Two problems. I can move while wall, run wall running in a different direction and it's not letting me wall run again. Oh, wonderful. See, it's not letting me wall run again. Okay, that worked. Uh, it's not letting me wall run again. Is jumping off wall set to false? And we have to make sure that we can wall run. So where are we setting can wall run here? We're not setting it back. Okay, so can we wall run? Yes. Compile, save. Twitter. H H H. What does that mean? Alright, so this should allow me to wall run once we've wall run more than once. Okay, that's good. What's the other issue? Oh, that we can move while we're on the wall. Oh my god. Oh, the issue is... Oh, no, I can't jump. Oh my god, there's so many bugs. Yay! While wall running... Oh, jeez. What is that? Nice. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Can we... What does that say? Can we get this character to climb stairs with IK? Um, uh, that's like out of my knowledge right now. <laughs> um, but thank you for the donation. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely. do it it's just like gonna take some work sorry my nose is a little oh this paper just put dust particles everywhere this looks interesting i think this would be a good tutorial ryan Laley. let's put the stairs Wow, I didn't know they had this climbing ledge thing. There's a lot of cool tutorials here. You don't have to retract your message. <laughs> I just don't know how to do that. <laughs> this person, oh, I'm subscribed to them. Hello. IK, IK. Inverse, uh, where is the playlist here? Most difficult IK solution. Yeah, I don't even know how to do normal IK in Unreal. I <laughs> can't imagine doing stairs right now. <laughs> this person seems to have the good tutorials for it. Coyote time. Oh, that's a good one. Whoa. This person is impressive. They're uploading a three tutorials a day. This is non-stop production. Wow. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's three in a day, though. I'm so impressed. Takes me forever. Make car enter and exit button, Android. Uh, that's... I know I was trying, I was trying last week. <laughs> oh, thanks for the donation. Again? <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. I'm so confused. It didn't show up here. Thanks for subscribing, everyone, by the way. Please, man. I, I, I don't know. Just. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this person. I watch this person for everything. Here you go. Just, that's what I do. I just Google everything. <laughs> oh, now it showed up. Oh, well, thank you for the other donation. <laughs> Perhaps you can get an editor, help cut up your vids. Yeah, but I don't have a... Technically don't have a job, so I can't really afford to pay someone. Sad truth. I Google everything, yeah. Interesting. What are you using on that falling character? What do you mean? There are always folks willing to work for free. I guess. I... I mean, I did have someone offer to edit a video and they did, but I found myself like <laughs> spending more time telling them what I wanted than actually doing it. I guess I could have gotten better with time, but I was... <laughs> Sidharth, the tutorial, you can easily adapt it to use a button instead of... Like, for tutorials, you're probably never gonna find something exactly for what you need. Maybe you do. But as long as you have a starting basis, you can easily change it. Hey, Alpha. Dialogue system to help the VN community. What is the VN community? Is the wall running? I K. It's just an animation. Nothing special. I'm just locking the character in the wall and playing an animation. <laughs> Thanks, Cassowary. Whoa. What? What? All right, launch the character in this case. We launch the character. Let's put the delay to be a bit longer. Oh, visual novel. <laughs> Whoa, that's not what I want. All right, so I think I have to follow the same format like I did here in terms of setting these to false and can wall run. So setting these, yep, oh, sorry. Um, setting these booleans somewhere. Okay, here. Is jumping off wall, and then we do this, and then after, um, can wall run? We can wall. Run. Oh, 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 oh! What am I doing? Okay. 
Okay. Can the character roll? Nope. Hey, Marius. Thank you. Air running. Yes. This is the next evolvement of humans. Visual novel engine on Unreal Marketplace. Ooh. Um, oh, four point two seven was released. Oh, I didn't even, I don't even have these on my, on my, oh, let me get these free goodies. Dismemberment and bone break. What's the visual novel one? Get your free goodies. Everyone. Permanently free collection. These are just free in general. I like how Unreal gives stuff for free. Visual novel, you were saying? Oh, this one? Oh, here. Oh yeah, it is this one. Oh, this is the one they're giving away. All right. Damn, why did it open a new tab? Oh, I guess I can just add it to here. Yay, free stuff. All right, let me post this. Free Unreal Assets, plus remember to download monthly free assets. This is on my Discord, by the way, where I'm posting this. Thank you! I like free things. And it's worth $300. The This one and the monthly. $300 full of free assets. What more can we ask for? Okay, so I think the issue here... Uh-huh. Are we distracting you? That's okay. <laughs> I'd be distracted one way or another. <sighs> oh, it did the weird thing. Okay. What's going on here? We go, what's going on? What's going on here? Let's call this off wall thing. Let's try to mimic what works, you know? If something works, don't break it. Compile, save, play. Yeah, they're free. The visual novel is free. Wait, did that fix it? Uh -huh. Success. 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 Oh, well, I don't know. I just jumped off the wall there. Success. 
success. So I keep saying that. <laughs> um, let's increase the launch speed. I just want to see what happens. Oh, I'm too far away. Heck no. Whee! Okay. I thought this would launch me more, but okay. Let's make the walls closer to see what happens. Oh no. Ugh. Bolt versus Playmaker versus Pixicade. I've actually never used any of them, so. <laughs> Alright, that worked. Doing wall jumping. Nvidia Flex for simulations. Flex. I. This is cool. I think I heard of this actually. I don't need that right now though. Do 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 Water. Drink your water, people. Very good for you. Unless you're allergic. I heard some people are allergic to water, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, so I think that fixed it, actually. You know, there's still a little, like, twinking around with the values, but... For the most part... I don't even know what this means. For the most part, this works. That's like being allergic to living. Well, there's some people who are allergic to sun. Although it's like a very rare condition, but they literally like can't get one ray of sun on them. And they have to live in like a literal like bubble that's made for them so that the sun rays can't pass through. All right, well, for the most part it works, so. I'm not using IK on anything. I'm just using arrow traces everywhere. Ray cast, basically. For Unity, I'd honestly recommend like just learning C sharp scripting. It'll help you in the long run. With Unreal, you can get a buy a lot with the blueprints. I haven't really used Unity visual scripting though, so maybe I shouldn't talk. Cool. Shoo. Wouldn't it be cool if while you're vaulting, like this cool camera slows down and it's like shoo, slow motion or like like cool camera angle? Kind of like rotates across your character. Oh, that'd be too much, actually. Whee! How good is Yui character controller compared to Unity's character controller? Very good. Much better than Unity's character controller. Unity's character controller is sometimes buggy, first of all. Like... You, you, Unreal has a lot of features in their character controller that ye just comes built in like you can set different modes like flying a swimming mode like it doesn't actually swim for you but they just have different modes available like this is a third person character 
Like this is all default. So you have already a walking sprinting speed. Uh oh no, wait, this is my stuff, just kidding. <laughs> um max jump hold time jump max count block input uh am i the oh character movement here we go um you got network stuff here already built in swimming max swim speed flying max fly speed physics interaction like they just got a lot of stuff built in and it's much more complete Shoot, sorry rigid body is just like a physics simulation it's not really character controller per se brazil web development Learn game dev. Uh, I have a beginner mini series on my channel. <laughs> um, you can just like follow a few tutorials just to get the hang of it, and then uh, what I did was then I did like a game jam or two, and I tried not to use tutorials to make simple simple mechanics and stuff just to get used to it without relying on tutorials of course i still rely on tutorials for stuff but just not like literally everything you can follow along a tutorial and just get some basic experience um here's the playlist it took me a while hola me saludas hi steven step Welcome. Damn, I gotta try UE one day. Visual scripting is best when you can merge front end and back end. Yeah. Unreal's character controller was built by one guy and bought by Unreal. It's incredibly well made. Unity doesn't have a real implementation. Yeah, Unity's is not great. Like, yeah. And also, Unreal has this thing called ALS V4 that's free. Advanced Locomotion System. And it's really cool. It literally has like vaulting over objects, like built in ragdolls. The sprint is good. Like, this is free that you can just use. Hey, yay trying to stream on Wednesdays yeah takes a lot out of me so once a week is already a lot for me <laughs> replace capsule collider and unity or non real you can just add a component here with the collider that you want collider here ALS is free already. Forever. Right? I thought ALS was always free. You can add parabolic movement to the wall running. Oh, you mean like falling? You know, that's a job for another day. I don't know if I want to add that actually. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. I think everything looks pretty nice. Yay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get some lunch. Um, I don't know how long I've been streaming, but I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I got the wall running working and I think now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna put this back here. Now what I wanna do is the big issue refactoring code turn it into a state machine so it's easier to understand and to change i have no idea how to do this 
don't even know if I should use code for this, but I guess we'll figure it out. But yeah. Thanks, Med. I should use Trello. Trello's great. Two hours. Oh, nice. Hey, so sorry I'm late. Oh, well, unfortunately, I'm about to end the stream. <laughs> But you can watch the video after it's going to be uploaded on the channel. Because I'm hungry. It is lunchtime. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everyone for watching and thanks for the help. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I'm glad we got some progress done. Some nice progress. Can't wait till next Thursday, Wednesday to blow my brain out with a state machine. <laughs> go eat. Yes, I will go eat. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching and coming back. And good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone. And I will 